Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll solve the problem that you see that you will find on page number 274. Example 4.2.9. As you can see, problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It is important, it is vital, it is crucial, it is absolutely essential that you have the book in front of you, as I have told you time and again. Turn to the page, turn to page number 274 and read the problem yourself. So we have 600 applicants. We have 600 applicants, we are told. They were given an exam. The exam was such that they were rated on a scale of 1 to 50. They were rated on a scale of 1 through 50. The mean score turned out to be 13 and a half. The standard deviation, we are told, is 7.1. And most importantly, something that, I did not, something that I did not put in the blackboard, but it is understood, it is in the problem, they will always tell you that the distribution, is, uh, that we are dealing with a normal distribution. If we are, if we are not, if we are not get them, if we are not given that information, if we do not know if these observations are normally distributed, then we cannot do any of the stuff that we're going to do just now. Normal distribution is assumed here. Do you understand? The question simply is based on those facts. The question simply is how many standard deviation above or below the mean? How many standard deviation above or below the mean? A rating of 48 point will be part A. How many standard deviation above or below a rating of 48 point will be? Well, 48 point, as you can clearly see, is above the mean. The mean is 32 and a half. This is 48. Obviously, we're going to be above. Uh, we're talking about how many standard deviation above above the mean is uh, is 48 points. We, we have, the answer is going to be above, obviously, not below. Let's find out how many points above are we compared to the mean. So here's our solution. The score that we're looking at is 48 point. We know th the average is 32 and a half. So subtract 5 here, we equal 7, 7 minus 2 is 5. Looks like we are 15 point, we are 15, 15 and a half point, point, above, not below, above the mean. Okay, let's, now the next part we're going to do, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Instead of 7.1, let's talk about, let's pretend it's 7. So if the mean is 32 for sigma, if mean happened to be 33, let's say, let's make it 33. If mean happened to be 33, if the mean, if mean happens to be 33, and your score happens to be 33 plus 7, which is 40, and if the standard deviation is 7, let's, we, we are making friendly numbers here, we are making friendly numbers here, if the standard deviation happens to be exactly 7, if the mean happens to be exactly 33, and your score is 40, 40 is 7 points more, 7 points more than the mean, you are exactly one standard deviation above the mean. You're exactly one standard deviation above the mean. How to define it? Well, it's very simple. You took this, you take the score, subtract, you take your score 40, subtract the average score, which is how we got 7, and we divide it by the standard deviation. We divide the difference by the standard deviation, in this case is 7. 7 over 7 is 1, which can clearly see we are one standard deviation above the mean. The exact same idea we're going to do now, except the numbers are not friendly. So we're going to take our, we only did that part, this difference is 15.5. Here the difference was 7, because we assumed that score was 40, the different difference between what you got and what the mean is is 15.5. We're going to divide the 15.5 by the standard deviation and will tell us exactly how many standard deviation above the mean we lie. Let's find out, shall we? So all we have to do now at the end is simply divide 15.5, 15.5 by 7.1 and we are done. That's all we have to do here. There is not there is there is, there is no trick to it. And obviously, 15.5 divided by 7.1, obviously it is exactly the same as 155 over 71. If you were to multiply top and bottom by 10, we end up with 155. Let's do it here. 155 or divided by 71 is what we're looking at. 70 times 2 is 140, so it's 142. 2 will give us 142. That gives us 3 and a 1. We get a 0 here. We cannot go 2 times again because... We need 140 at least. We can go once. We go once here, we get 71. We get 9. We get 59. We get 59. 
seven eight seven eight seven seven eight is a fifty six seven seven is a forty nine how do I know seven seven is a forty nine because I know my squares forty nine is a perfect square seven seven is a forty nine forty nine plus another seven would be fifty six so seven eight is a fifty six that's that's how we get the eight here that's it it's, it's going it's to continue forever the answer is this score we are approximately 2.18 standard deviation above the mean above the mean 2.18 standard deviation above the mean and that's all there was right here when I put a zero here this should, should have been decimal here that's how we got the zero here because we introduced decimal so 2.18 I did, not, I did not bother to put a zero here and we did the exact calculation. If it's 590, it's going to be about 8, 8. 8 times 70 is 560. It would have been 568. If you actually did out the work, if you actually did out the work, it would have been 5, 7 times 8 is 56. Therefore, 70 times 8 is 560. Plus another 8 is 568 and they would have continued. That's, there is no point in wasting your time like that. Do you understand? They're looking for approximate answer. We're not going to carry on more. Is, a, is approximately 2.1 inch standard deviation above the mean. Let's do part B. Part B is asking us, part B is asking us, and again these are problems straight from the book. Part B is asking us how many how many standard deviation above or below the mean a rating of 30 points will be. A 30 as you can clearly see is below the mean. So the answer here is not, we're not going to be above the mean, we're going to be below the mean obviously. Again the same idea, same exact idea as before. We have to figure out the difference. We need the room, obviously. I'm going to erase all this thing. So the work here would be, the work here would be, we take this score of 30, subtract it from the mean, and divide it by the standard deviation. That's all there is. There's no trick to it. It's going to be negative 2.5, negative 2.5 over 7.1. Of course, that is same as 20, negative 25 over 71. Negative, negative 25 over 71. And we have to find out what that translates into some some decimal. Let's do it out here. I left no room here. So 25 over 71 is what we're doing here. I'm going to erase this part. 25 over 71. Obviously, we have no 71 here. So we introduce the decimal. It becomes 250. We cannot go four times because seven 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 four is a 28. We can go three times. That's seven, 7 times 3 is 21, so it's going to be 213. 213. Because 70, 73 is, 73 is uh, 210. We don't need 73, we need 71 three. So it's going to be 231. And now that is not what I have in the book here. Something has gone wrong. Perhaps I'm looking at the wrong thing. 213. What do we get here? We get 7, 4 minus 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3, we get 37, introduce another one. Let's just pick up speed, shall we? 7 5 is a 35. 7 5 is a 35. 7 5 is a 35. And it's going to just go on forever. That's it. That's, this is the approximate answer. So we are approximately 0 0.35 standard deviation below the mean. And that's your below part is a negative part here. We are 0 0.35 standard deviation below the mean. Let's do part C. Part C is asking us a score of 20. A score of 20 is how many standard deviation above or below the mean. Obviously, we're going to be below here. So instead of 30, it's going to be 20. It's going to be 20. And instead of 2.5, it's going to be 3.5. And instead of, instead of 250, it's going to be, instead of, instead of 25, it's going to be 35. It's going to be around 0.5 obviously because 35 times 7, 35 is 7, 5 times 7. So it's going to around, 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 never mind what I said here, it's quarter of 20, 32.5 is what we're looking at, 32.5, the difference is, something is not right, is there? 20 minus, before we had here 30, 30 minus 32.5 would have been negative, negative 2. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I have no idea what I just did here. Before we had a 30 here. So 
sometimes sometimes one wonders 30 minus 32 would was negative 2.5 negative 2.5 and then instead of 30 I made that at 20 and then after that I don't know what the hell I did 20 minus 32.5 is negative 12 it's going to be 125 over 71 125 over 71 we cannot go two times because two times would be 140 so let's go one time we go one time we get 71 we get a 4 we get a 5 put a 0 here and as soon as we introduce decimal we have to, as soon as we introduce 0 we have to introduce decimal 7 how many 7s is 54 here 54 54 has 7s 54 has 7 7s 7 7s are 49 7 7s are 49 it's except it's not going to be 490, it's going to be 497. 497. 500 would have been exactly 40, so it's going to be 43. It's going to be 43. Now we have 43. 7, 6 are 42. You see that 7, 6 are 42. Seven, so it's approximately 1.76. It's going to be 42 and it's just going to continue forever. Again, it has a, it just continues forever. Approximately 1.76 standard deviation below the mean. We are approximately 1.76 standard deviation below the mean. That was part C. That was part C. Let's move on and do part D. The part D that we're going to do is not in the book. So don't look for it. It is not in the book. It is something that is extra. So here's part D. Let's, we're done with this thing. In part D, we're being asked What is the minimum scores required, or or if you like, here's your part D. What do I need to score in order to be in the in the top two percentile? Top two percentile. What do I need to score? What what do I need to score? That, that is that is the minimum we're talking about. What do I need to score? Minimum. What's the, in other words, what's the minimum score that is required for me to be able to be in the top two percentile in the class, in that cohort? What's the minimum score I need to have in order for me to fall in the in that elite group of the top two percentile? Well, let's take a look at it, shall we? The top two percentile is being asked for a reason. If you look at the shape of the if you, if you look at the shape of the normal distribution, here is your mean, here is our mean, here is the one standard deviation. This is this is one standard deviation from here to here. This is from here to here is this is mean plus one standard deviation, or rather mean minus one standard deviation on the left hand side. This is mean plus one standard deviation. By the time you get to second standard deviation, we move on to under standard deviation, but by the time you get to second standard deviation, what is left over is this is this tail, which is the two percent, which is the two percent. Now you want to be in that tail, you want to be in the top two percentile. In order to be in the top two percentile, the minimum that we need to score is the average plus two times the standard deviation. That is the absolute minimum. Well, the average here is thirty-two point five. Standard deviation is 7.1, so 2 times 7.1 is going to be 14.2, and that's what you need. 32 and a half and a 14.2. This is the absolute minimum that you need. This is the absolute minimum that you need if you want to be in the top two percentile. If one wishes, if one wishes to be in the top two percentile, one needs to score a minimum, absolute minimum of 46.7. 46.7. Points. And if you manage to do that, if you manage to do, score this much or above this, you are in the top 2 percentile. Let's do part E. Part E. Part E is asking us, again you understand, A, B and C were in the book, D and E and F are not in the book. This is not in the book. So here we go. The question simply is, almost, almost, two-third of the class, almost two-third of the class, 
scored between what and what. Of course you understand that in the exam, of course you understand that in the exam, the language is going to be a little refined obviously. You are not going to say what and what. It's going to be more elaborate, as I said, more refined. Almost two-thirds of the class scored between what and what. It's very simple. Two-thirds of the class, we know that two-thirds of the class, in a normal distribution, two-thirds of the class, two-thirds of the observation, two-thirds of the population, falls between one standard deviation. They scored below these two points. One standard deviation below the mean, and one standard deviation above the mean. That is the range. That is the range. The range, of course, is going to be 14.2. Because it's 2 times 7.1, except we are not going one standard distance this way and one standard deviation that way. That's, that's, that's how we got 14.2. But the range of the score, the range of the score of the two-third, the middle two-third of the class is 14.2. Because one standard deviation captures, one standard deviation captures 68% of the population. Or 68% of the population lies between mean minus rather the, the mean minus the standard deviation and the mean plus the standard deviation 68 percent of the population lies 68 percent of the population lies between these two points and we're going to pretend that two-thirds that hence the use of the word almost we're going to pretend that two-thirds is approximately 68 percent so the answer to this question is very straightforward Almost two thirds of the class scored between what and what, or two thirds of the class scored between 32.5 minus a 7.1 and 32.5 plus a 7.1. Minus would be 4, 12 minus 7 is 5, between 25.4 to, to 39.5. In other words, other, other words, Two thirds of the class, two third, approximately two thirds, or two thirds of the class scored between two thirds of the class scored between twenty-five and forty. This is your forty. This is your twenty-five. And this part that I wrote down is between B slash for the between. Approximately two thirds of the class scored between 25 and 40, based on based on the data that are, that we are given that the mean is 32 and a half, the standard deviation is 7.1. If that's the case, then we know that two thirds of the class, the middle two thirds of the class, that is, will score between 25 and 40. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's do part F. Part F. What is the range of score what is the range of score scores of people who scored within what's the range of what is the range of what is the range of scores of people who scored within one standard deviation? But well, that's a damn silly question, isn't it? That's a bloody silly question because we already know the answer. The range is 14.2. Because what's the range of scores of people who scored within one standard deviation? We go one standard deviation this way, one standard deviation this way, but this is the mean. That is what is the range of the score of people who score within one standard deviation of the mean, you should say, of the mean, you should say, of the mean. What's the range of the score of people who score within the one standard deviation? Well, here's your mean. This is it's going to be 7.1 less than that. This is going to be 7.1 more than that. Of course, the range is 14.2. This right here, 7.1. This is your mean, 7.1 this way, 7.1 that way. The range of people who scored within one standard deviation, with, when we talk about one standard deviation, that means one standard deviation below the mean and one standard deviation above the mean. Well, the range is going to be 14.2 because the standard deviation is 7.1. That was a bloody silly thing to, to ask, wasn't it? That's it, we're done. Tomorrow, 
we will do problem that you see. Well, actually, when the tomorrow comes, we'll talk about it. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.